Hey everyone, Matt Tursik, Seth Murphy here at 1745 Maple Leaf Road in Lake Oswego's Palisades neighborhood. Thank you to Tessa Gold and her team for letting us tour this fantastic new listing. This one's really special. Yeah, this is a beautiful day with a beautiful build. We cannot wait to show you this remodel. This is going to be a five bed, three and a half bath. This is a little under 3,700 square feet. All right, and stepping up to the house, uh, really unique choice of finishes, mixed materials here. You have a large format tile, and then you have stained cedar siding all the way up and closing the soffits on this one. Really nice job. All Marvin doors and windows throughout, so ultra high end. And when Seth said remodeled, this is really from the ground up. They only left the foundation here and then expanded upon that to rebuild it into what you're seeing right now, which is this massive open floor plan. Now immediately off the right of the entrance, like Matt said, you have this huge open space. Right over here, you have your dining room and kitchen. In your dining room, you have these huge pane windows that show right out to Maple Leaf, bringing in a lot of natural light, give the home a really nice glow beautiful light fixtures in this dining room. And over here, you have two glass wine lockers that have soft closed doors, just so if you're not careful, the doors are for you. Coming over here, we have Matt in this kitchen. Seamless cabinets all the way through. Matt, you are cracking the fridge open. What are you getting into over here? Just checking out the appliance package. It's an ultra sleek design, first of all, in this kitchen. And the Fisher Pickle refrigerator, as well as 48 inch range and dual dishwasher right here. A really nice touch, giving it almost a Scandinavian uh, feel or design. One of my favorite parts about this kitchen area is you have seating for four here at this massive island. You can tell they really took extra attention to detail with the mitered edges all the way around, including these countertops. And then other cool details, such as continuing this tile backsplash all the way up and around over the door to a bar with your refrigerated uh, wine cooler here. And as we are moving over this way, we do pass one of our two patios on this property. Nice and big composite deck, perfect for entertaining. It also is right off the kitchen, so seamless access out there. And now coming over here, we find ourselves in our living room. You have the corner gas fireplace with plaster finish. You have surround sound all up in this room with perfect placement for your TV and it's already pre-plumbed just so you can plug and play and go. And then rounding out the main level, tucked away over here, you have a nice size half bath as well as a full bedroom suite over here. And then one of my favorite parts is actually the work from home or den space here. It's not a full size room, but it's actually a really efficient use of space. Plenty of room for a desk, maybe some bookshelves, and it's really all you need, so it's also not wasting space. And right before we head upstairs, continuing on the theme of no wasted space, ooh, almost fell backwards. The builder actually tucked away the furnace up above so you have more space to park your car. And now, before we go upstairs, this is the second patio that I mentioned. You got turf over here, small shed in the corner of the lot, plenty of space for anything you wanna do and very versatile. All right, so getting upstairs to this massive loft area, beautifully done with three walls of window, letting tons of natural light into this area right now. One of the cool details is as you get upstairs, the hardwood, which is a natural oak that's stained white, is continued up onto the landing and through the hallways up here. So really nice touch there. And then the builder also used a smooth wall throughout the entire house, giving it a really modern, clean feel. Rounding off this space, you do have your utility room where you would put your washer and dryer. And you have amazing separation between the three other bedrooms down this way and the primary, which we are gonna go into right now. And so stepping into the primary, you will notice there's eight foot doors on this entire level. It's perfectly plumb in line with all the windows that surround this room. And then coming into the primary bath, Seth, what are we dealing with here? Well, first of all, I stepped in here, heated tile floors, feels amazing today. Great contrast to the large concrete tiles that they use as the backsplash. One of my favorite parts are also these ginormous round mirrors. You have your toilet over there, and right here is the biggest shower I think I have ever seen. One of the largest rainfall shower heads. You have another one over there. You have the freestanding tub. You have the fogged out window right behind, so it still pulls a little bit of natural light in. And then over here, you have your primary closet, which is just massive. Plenty of storage, plenty of built-ins, a lot of natural light. 
you guys can guess if this is bigger than my apartment or not. And then rounding off the rest of this floor, you have three really good sized bedrooms, two facing the back, one facing the side here, and a really large uh, bathroom that's shared with a dual vanity, beautiful finishes, same level of finishes as you will see throughout the rest of the house, which is really nice. And one of the, my favorite parts is this room overlooks the side yard, which is completely massive and gets great afternoon sun as we're seeing today would be a perfect area for a large pool or perhaps a sport court or a play structure. So thanks so much for tuning in to this week's Tuesday tour. If you have any questions at all, don't hesitate to reach out to either one of us. We'd love to give you a tour of this fantastic new modern build here in Lake Oswego's Palisades neighborhood. One thing I will point out is you are in a fantastic location. It's a really quiet street. A couple new builds going on up and down the street here with a lot of new construction from Renaissance homes, elite homes. So you're in the mix of all that and I think it's an awesome opportunity for future appreciation value because this one's actually pretty attractively priced at 1.8 million dollars yeah thank you guys so much for coming along with us please let us know what you thought about this one i was really impressed with the build quality the floor plan and overall all of the renovations they did please leave a like comment what you want to see from both of us don't forget to subscribe it helps us out a lot and we will see you guys next tuesday